Okay. Dragon Ball Super. All right. Oh, I wanted to do a live reaction, but you know, this is the thing. A lot of times people spoil things with the thumbnails and the, the, the title of their videos. So uh, my boy Dan Lopez wanted me to do a live reaction and I, I wanted to do one. But then I go on YouTube and then I see the thumbnail and then the title of the thumbnail. I'm just like, damn, bro. It, it got spoiled for me. I mean, that's unfortunate, but that happens on YouTube. This episode. Hit is a monster. And you know what's funny? I called it. I called it. You know what? Let's roll the tape. I got my money on Goku, but Hit is not to be played with. I do predict that Hit will be able to go probably 0.5 seconds. Probably 0.5 seconds. You see? You, you see? I said what was going to happen, and that's what happened. That's what happened. Hit went to 0 0.5 seconds in the time leap, but no one could predict Goku going using Super Saiyan Blue and Kaioken. Times 10. Hey, that rhymed. Goku does that, and Kaioken, you know, it takes, it's a huge toll on your body. And it's, I'm like, you can keep it up that long with Super Saiyan Blue. That was kind of crazy. As usual, Goku is always a step ahead of Vegeta. And it's kind of frustrating at this point. Like, yo, give Vegeta some shine. I mean, he had some back then, but it's like, I mean, I'm not a Vegeta guy, but it's just like every time the same formula. Has he ever beaten the main villain? Tell in those forms, they don't, those don't count. I'm talking about perfect form cell. Give this man some love. Anyways, this whole episode is about Hit versus Goku. And Hit, he is he was improving at a rapid pace, right? And it's, it's crazy because Goku, you know, that's a trait of the Saiyans and this, and that's a trait of Goku to improve in the middle of the battle and to counter. But Hit, he improved from point 0.1 to point 0.2 to point 0.5 seconds with the time leap. And he was, just, after Goku stuck it to him, he came back with a crazy counter. And I think Hit has the, the, the improving mechanisms of Frieza. Because remember, Frieza trained for six months and all of a sudden he was on Super Saiyan Blue level, which is ridiculous. So Hit has that type of stuff. And it's saying he never improved in 1,000 years because he didn't feel like he had to. He never went up against someone that he felt like he needed to beat. And I'm like, so you didn't feel like you didn't want to be stronger than the guys. I guess Hit is just a Hit man, you know, to his core and he just wants to be stronger than his targets and he's never run into a target that he wasn't stronger than so there's no re reason to really improve i kind of felt iffy about it because it's just like yo you went from point one or to point five i mean i think it would have made more sense if he knew how to do it already and it was just holding back but him going because he just needed to improve improvement i'm like okay that's how you want to spin it that, that that's fine so he does point five and goku goes super saiyan blue caught Super Saiyan Blue, KO Ken times 10. He just, at that point, he was faster than Hit, stronger than Hit, and he wipes the floor with Hit. He ends up with a Kamehameha. I'm not sure if Hit is done, but Goku should not be able to maintain KO Ken and Super Saiyan Blue at, at, any longer. If he can, I call BS. He, I, I call BS because he was fighting earlier. Super Saiyan Blue takes a huge toll, but it, 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 it's, it was cool to see the red and the blue, the aura. It's wonderful. Dragon Ball Super, back to back to back great episodes i have to say i'm gonna give this probably a 10 out of 10 because of just how they executed everything the animation was on point the art was on point and goku stuck it to hit i mean i wanted the, the, the fight to drag out for multiple episodes but we don't I, I didn't watch the preview for the next episode so i don't know if it's over it ended off with the kamehameha so it should be an interesting episode next week seeing champa and the reactions of everybody when the fight was going on because at some point when goku ran up and attacked hit like this is before he found out the hit was at point five seconds now like Beerus was like overjoyed Champa was like distraught but then it just totally switched and then just seeing Vados and Whis's reaction because they are on another level where they can see everything they know everything that's going on I mean even more than the guys because they see everything you can tell how the tide is going to turn based on their reactions because Vados was like oh, I don't think he's going to be defeated yet and Whis was like mm, when when Beerus was cheering so those guys I wonder how strong they really are it's crazy let me know what you thought about the episode I thought it was amazing I can't wait till next week but like it if you did subscribe to the channel if you have not that would be dope have a good day people